I'm Pat Flynn. And I'm Alex Salka. And we're going to teach you the kettlebell windmill. Okay, so Alex will demonstrate and I will talk you through the exercise. The first thing to note about the kettlebell windmill, which Alex is about to perform, is that this exercise requires strength, mobility, and stability. So to do this right, you need to have mobility in some areas, stability in other areas, and strength to perform it with weight overhead. When you're first learning this exercise, I would recommend not using any weight at all. But here's the parts you really want to pay attention to. The windmill is fundamentally two simple movements. Thoracic rotation, or rotating at your mid-back, and number two, hip hinge. So notice, Alex is not rounding his back. He's achieving depth by pushing his hips back and rotating through his thoracic spine. This movement should look almost like a corkscrew. So if you could imagine that Alex was something of a human wine bottle opener, then you'll have a good idea of what this exercise should look like. So he's breaking it down at this point. He rotates first, and then he pushes back into his hips. Now Alex has very good mobility and flexibility. He can achieve a lot of depth with this. But for you, I don't want you to worry about depth so much. Rather, how far back can you push into your hips while getting good rotation through the thoracic spine. If that lets you get a lot of depth, great. If not, don't worry about it. The depth will come over time. All right, folks, I'm Pat Flynn. I'm Alex Salk. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Be sure to share it and also comment if you have any questions so we can answer them on the next episode. Strong, Strong on. on.